Hey everyone, and welcome to a new reading vlog. For this reading vlog, I'm planning on reading Alex Ryder Stormbreaker, which is the second book in the Alex Ryder series. And in my previous reading vlog at the end, well, cue the flashback, fantasy. F A N T A S Y. I guess I'm going with seven. So, whatever seven is. Okay, so the next book that I will be reading is Alex Ryder Point Blank. Yeah, so that's how I ended up choosing this. I thought it was a very unique and creative way to do it, even though it's kind of similar in a way to a TPR jar. I actually really enjoyed doing that, so I'm probably going to be doing that for the rest of the year when I'm reading. So anyway, this series is basically like a teen spy series, and I really enjoyed the first book. And I actually watched the movie first and then got into the series because I really enjoyed the movie. And the second book, this book, is actually already a TV show and it only has one season so far. And season two is actually going to happen as well. So I think it's about time for me to start to continue reading this series. And I actually already have. I've read two chapters already on Friday. Now it's Monday and I will be continuing to read it throughout the week. My plan is to read at least a couple of chapters a day and sometimes I might read more. Sometimes it might actually be two to five chapters, like the lowest is two and the highest would be five chapters a day. I also have other things to do during the day like I usually do, especially on Mondays because Mondays are cleanup days around the house. So I might not read too much today but I'm hoping to read quite a bit. So anyway, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be eating for today. What I'm going to be having today is vanilla yogurt with some bananas cut up into it and cinnamon and a peanut butter and honey sandwich. And after that, I will be cleaning up around the house. It's been a couple of hours since I finished eating and I just finished cleaning up. So now it's time to go upstairs and read. I got my book, my book sleeve, which I made and my mp3. Like I said in the other vlog, I end up keeping my music separate from my phone and I've had this for years and it still works really well. When I was reading the Narnia book, I was listening to the Narnia movie soundtracks and for Alex Ryder, I'm actually listening to the Maze Runner movie soundtracks. Alex Ryder is a more of an action-packed, adventure-filled kind of story or kind of series, so I just thought it was kind of fitting. Anyway, time to go upstairs to read more. And if you're wondering why, I have my hood up. It can get a little too cold and I actually like keeping my hood up inside so that way I can keep warm. And sometimes when I do this it kind of makes me look like Green Arrow or a Jedi. <laughs> Which I actually kind of love. <laughs> that makes... Hmm. Maybe you just want the belly bumps. I finished reading two more chapters of Alex Ryder. That's how far I am now in the book and I'm really really enjoying it. The first two chapters set some things up. The next two chapters got right into the story which I think Anthony Horowitz, the author of this book, actually did a really good job with setting it up and getting right into it at the perfect moment. And for me, I take it slower with reading and for his writing, it's actually really easy to read and get into the story and be able to visualize everything that he's describing. So anyway, I'm about to eat dinner now. So I made myself a homemade pizza, which basically is a tortilla, some tomato sauce, just plain tomato sauce, olives, some cut up chicken breast deli meat, and I put it on the pizza, but I had some leftover, so I'm just going to eat that by itself. Um, some mozzarella cheese and cheddar cheese and then some peas on the side. It is now the next day, Tuesday, and last night after I ate dinner I ended up making more edits for my Narnia accounts and then I got ready for bed. I didn't read anymore and I didn't plan on reading anymore yesterday so today I'm hoping to read 
two more chapters or maybe even four chapters. I'm not really doing too much today, so I definitely will have more time to read more chapters. Which is really good because I'm really, really enjoying this book so far. So I just got finished reading three more chapters of Alex Ryder Point Blank and this is where the action really started to happen. Right in that chapter that I just showed, right in the like middle beginning-ish of that chapter, the action started to happen and he had to literally run for his life. And in the chapter after that, he had to run for his life again. Alex got into those situations because of other people, not him putting himself in that situation. I've been really enjoying reading those scenes and at this point he has met new people and it's been really interesting seeing the dynamic between Alex and those characters. But right now, I'm probably done for reading for the day and I might read another chapter after dinner but now I'm gonna eat dinner. But first I have to prepare my dinner which is what I usually do. I actually enjoy making food, especially baking obviously if you've seen on my channel. but my meals in general, I like to prepare them. So it's now been a couple of hours later since the last clip and I did have dinner but I kind of forgot to vlog it so basically what I had was like ramen noodles mixed with kidney beans, some cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, like shredded mozzarella and cheddar, and a slice of turkey breast deli meat cut up into it. I put a little bit of butter and olive oil in it as well. To make up for it, for not showing that, I'm about to eat my snacks for the night, for the day, and yeah, so I'm just gonna show you that now. So I have a small bag of Honey Nut Cheerios, some peanut butter, half of a banana, and half of an apple cut up. And after I'm done eating, maybe about an hour or a couple of hours later after that, I will be filming a video which will already be up before this video, so that will be my previous video. If you want to go check that out, there's the thumbnail right there. And the link to it will be in the description down below, and an annotation will be at the end of this video. Hey everyone, so it is now the next day, Wednesday, and I didn't actually end up filming the video that I needed to film last night, so I definitely need to do that today and start editing it tomorrow. But instead, I ended up working on another edit for my Narnia account and that took a little too long than expected. So that's why I didn't get a chance to film the video. I didn't actually end up reading more of Alex Ryder Point Blank last night, so I did only read three chapters yesterday. So today, I'm planning on reading even more chapters, hopefully five chapters. I'm actually currently on page 115 and the book is 274 pages so I'm pretty much almost at the halfway point which I'm really happy about because I'm doing pretty well with being consistent with reading. Hopefully I can keep that up throughout the whole year. And my plan is to read at least two books, possibly a third book, every month. So far it's going really well. So right now I'm about to eat my first meal of the day then I'll be posting on my Narnia accounts and then read some more. This is what I'm having for today, a waffle, maple syrup, half of a banana cut up and onto it and I had extras from that half so I just put it alongside the waffle. Some vanilla Greek yogurt and a cereal bar, mixed berry flavored. Okay, I'm now back in my room as you can see, and I just finished reading three more chapters which added up to 56 more pages of the book and those three chapters, um, <laughs> okay, uh, things are getting interesting in a weird way, but if you ever seen the Sweet Life on Deck movie, then it's kind of similar to that, but um, a little different at the same time. I have a theory in mind, but I guess it's not too much of a theory, it's more of a prediction. I think I'm right about the prediction. <laughs> Ugh, I, I really try not to spoil anything for my reading vlogs, and I might start doing a little bit more spoilery talk of the book because I would like to, but 
I also don't want to spoil any of you if you want to actually read it. I've been really enjoying reading it so far because every single time I'm done with the chapter now at this point, I want to actually continue a little bit more, but I know I have other stuff that I need to do before I continue reading or if I even want to continue reading for the day or not. So I'm like 104 pages away from finishing this book. It might actually be at least a couple of more days of reading this book and then I'm done. So far it's actually really good and makes me even more excited to finish this book, to watch the series. If you really like mystery and teenager spy stories with action and adventure, then I think you will definitely enjoy this. You can at least watch the Alex Ryder Operation Stormbreaker movie. It's based on the first book. And Anthony Horowitz, the author of this series, actually wrote the screenplay himself for the movie. I'm not 100% sure on the show yet, but I know that he's involved with, I think, being an executive producer. Because he was that way for the movie, I think, too. But anyway, he's very much involved with the adaptations of his books. If you want to check out the first book or the synopsis of the first book, the link to it will be in the description down below and possibly to this book as well. Now it's time for dinner and this is what I'm having. I, it's something new that I've never had before. I was kind of in the mood for soup so it's a different type of soup I've never had before. It's this loaded potato with bacon with bacon and cheese soup and that's what it looks like. And I have a slice of buttered bread and I heated up the bread and then put the butter on it so it is melted in there. Anyway, it smells really really good and I love potatoes and cheese. I do like bacon but not that much. I already tasted a little bit and it tasted pretty good. It has now been a couple of hours since I finished dinner and it was actually really really good. I would recommend it if you do love potato soup or any type of soup with cheese in it as well. Anyway, um, I'm actually still currently working on my edit for my Narn account which will be posted tomorrow. So I've been doing like book edits and this is the next one that will be going up tomorrow. So right now I am going to be eating my snacks. A peanut butter honey cereal oat bar which I actually make myself. It's a homemade no-bake thing that's really easy to make. If you're looking for a quick little easy snack that is actually healthy and tastes really good, then I would highly recommend for you to try this out. And the recipe will be in the description down below. A sugar cookie, which I also made myself, which this is one of the, like, the leftover Christmas cookies I made. And they're still pretty fresh because I keep them in an airtight bag or you can even do it in a container. And then I just have a small bag of Fruit Loop cereal. It's been a few hours since I finished my snacks and I did finish my edit for my Narn account for tomorrow. And I decided to read not one but two more chapters of Alex Rider Point Blank and oh my goodness. Um... I think my theory or prediction was right <laughs> because things got really intense and um yep so now I have read 28 more pages and that altogether equals up to 84 pages today five chapters and 84 pages so that's the most I've ever read so far reading this book I only have 75 pages left to go to the book and then I get to watch the show finally to seeing how they adapted the book. And I've loved Alex Ryder since I first saw the movie back in at least like 2015 is when I first saw it and that made me want to get the books and uh, then in 2016 I ended up reading the first book and finally years later when the new show came out recently last year I finally ended up picking up the series again and reading it. So anyway that's my update It's been an hour since I finished eating and I'm about to go upstairs to continue reading and hopefully finish reading Alex Ryder Point Blank. I only have 75 pages left, which equals to about 5 chapters left. And I've read 5 chapters yesterday, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to read the last and final 5 today. So now it's time to go upstairs and continue reading and hopefully finish the book. Thanks.
Ready to go upstairs? Yep. <laughs> Luna, hello. Huh. <laughs> so I just finished, like literally just finished reading the book. Um. Those last four chapters, though, okay, Whew. that's a that's a lot of wow, a lot of things happened, and it was actually a really nice like kind of wrap up to the story, and it does make me want to continue on with the series, but I definitely am going to be watching the first episode of the series tonight. I might even watch two or two episodes every night because there's eight episodes in the first season. But oh my goodness, this was such interesting and enjoyable and crazy, weird, wild ride that I really enjoyed a lot. And I keep on saying this, but I really can't wait to start watching the show. I haven't actually seen the trailer when it came out. I will definitely be doing a trailer reaction video, maybe in this video. It makes the most sense to do it in this video and not like as a separate video. So, so I will definitely be doing that and then watching the show. Again, if you really do enjoy like teen spy, action adventure, mystery, intense moments, on the edge of your seat kind of moments, then I definitely highly recommend you checking out the series. My rating for out of one to five stars, I probably would give it a... I might give it a four star rating. I didn't really have any problems with it, but I just feel like if I had to choose to read this again, I would but maybe I would give it like a few years and then revisit it and I also did predict what was going on in this story so it was a little predictable but sometimes for me I actually enjoy things that I can actually predict myself because most of the time I try to but I can't and I'm actually really happy with myself when I actually get it right maybe that's probably why I did give it a four or four and a half stars but anyway it's a really, really good book and series so far. This is the second book in the series, and it has and it has a lot more books in the series, as you can see. And Anthony Horowitz keeps on making more. Anyway, the first book of the year finished, and it's only still the beginning-ish of January. So that's a really good thing for me, that I'm actually being consistent and staying on a good schedule with reading. Okay, right now I'm going to prepare my dinner and eat that. So this is what I've prepared for my dinner. Some macaroni with meatless hot dog cut up, some Italian style cheese, and a little bit of ketchup. And then I made myself a side salad with cucumbers, tomatoes, and olives. And olive oil and a little bit of salt sprinkled on top. Okay, so I'm about to watch the trailer for the Alex Ryder series. And yeah, here we go. The world we inhabit is murky. It was a head on collision, don't understand. Your uncle was over the speed limit. Things are never as clear as we would wish. No hospital in London has any record of him being brought in. Maybe they spelled his name wrong, they're all doing that. Well, maybe it didn't happen. I want to find out who killed my uncle. Is there something we'd like you to do for us? No one outside this department needs to know about this operation. Alex is bright and determined. He questions everything, but he can be impulsive and irresponsible. Yeah. 
killing a crab maga. I know shooting people in the head. A little fish survives by being smarter and faster and more daring. But he's been trained this his whole life. Actions have consequences, Alex. You think I can't see right through you? tell when someone is pretending to be something they're obviously not. What if you never find out what really happened? I do this one thing and it's over. They leave us alone. These people aren't your friends. Okay, me and Jack, we're your friends. I did warn you. Shoot me. Change is never Change hurts. But it's going to be for the better. Okay. Yep. Oh! It sets up the story, what basically what happened in Stormbreaker when they're talking about Ian Ryder and all that. That whole thing happened in Stormbreaker. The other things though were definitely point blank. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm gonna watch the series, so I'm gonna go do that now. Bye. Well, until at least the next clip anyway. Fast forward to a week later from that last clip because that was last Thursday, January 14th and now it's January 21st and <laughs> I have finally finished the show. I watched the last two episodes last night, the 20th. Let me tell you, oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I loved this show so much, seriously. I might have loved it a little bit more than the book. I give it like a 5 out of 5 stars out of 5. Everything about it is what I also love in those kind of like spy, thriller, action adventure, mystery kind of shows. And they did it so well and I cannot wait for season 2 to come out. Okay, first of all, on a scale of like 1 to 10 on how close the show is to the book, I would definitely say a 7 because pretty much the whole book was in the show. They did adapt this book pretty well and made it into an amazing TV show and there were some things in it that were actually added of course for just like to add a structure to the TV show and give it a possible second season which works because it's renewed for a second season. The things that were added to the show I actually really enjoyed a lot more than I thought I would but it really did add something extra to the show that the book didn't have and the book was written and came out so many years ago when Anthony Horowitz was pretty young too so basically it's pretty much like an updated version of the story except for everything that happened in the book that was important to the story is in the show it's just done a tiny bit differently but not like a major difference one thing that was actually really great was the casting. The casting for these characters, especially Alex Ryder, Otto, whatever his last name, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he was so perfect for Alex Ryder. He literally became the character. He was Alex Ryder. I love Alex Ryder so much and, and he portrayed him very well. A round of applause for him because oh my gosh, wow. He is a very talented actor and he hasn't really been in too many other things but this show is definitely going to make him really well known because he deserves all the praise that he's getting from the critics and everything that are all really good reviews of this show and his performance as Alex and everything. And all the other cast members who portrayed these characters did such a really good job as well. It's all really well deserved. I love the dynamics between all the characters, especially obviously with Alex. But yeah, at this point I am definitely going to be continuing on with the series this year. So yes, overall I really really enjoyed the show. I love it so much and I love this series so much and even when I got back into reading the series I really enjoyed it and now I can actually say for sure that 
Alex Ryder is definitely one of my favorite series of all time, so add it to the list of the books that are on my top shelf. Those are my favorite series and such. And if you want to check out the show, the show is actually streaming for free on Amazon Prime Video. Overall, I really enjoyed the show. I love this series, both the TV show and the books. And I cannot wait for season two, which I've already said, but I really can't wait. I'm definitely going to rewatch season one when season two comes out. Anyway, back to the clips from last week which is pretty much me picking my next read and the end of the vlog. Hey fellow readers, now that I'm done with reading my first book of the year, now I'm going to pick my next read and I have several books to pick from. I have all of them laid out right next to me. Anna Green Gables, The Traitor's Game, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, Ogre Enchanted, Princess Academy, The Captive Kingdom, and The Light Between Worlds. How I'm going to pick them is how I did it at the end of my other reading vlog and that's with this fortune teller thing that I made which basically instead of telling your fortune it would be telling you which book to read next. Last time I think I picked fantasy so this time I'm going to pick sci-fi. S-C-I-F-I. I have those numbers to pick from. I'm going to pick four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to pick three now. One, two, three. And now I'm right there. Now it's time to pick my next read. I'm going to pick five. Now I don't remember exactly what I did. I didn't memorize what book is in what number. So I really don't know what. But I do have these books on my phone as a list of books to read. So that way I actually wouldn't have to look at them. But here we go. What's under five? So my next read is The Cat of Kingdom by Jennifer A. Nielsen. Now I am really really excited for this one to get into this story, get back into reading more of these characters and this world because this is a part of one of my favorite series of all time. I first read back in 2016 and I since have reread that trilogy and now it's considered a series because this is the fourth book in it. And there's going to be a fifth book coming out this year. And I actually made a spoiler-free review video of the trilogy. So if you want to check that out, it'll be right here. And if you love Narnia and Hunger Games mixed together, then it's pretty much very similar to those two things combined. I'm very excited to finally get back into reading this series. To go on a new adventure with the main character, Sage, and all the other characters. So yes, I'm very happy with my pick. That's the end of this video. If it's very, very long, I'm very sorry. Again, I tried my best to cut it down as short as possible. But anyway, if you want to stay updated on what my progress is with my reading as well, other than my vlogs, then you can follow me on my social media accounts. All the links to them will be in the description down below, including my Goodreads account. If you really enjoyed these reading vlogs, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reading vlogs in the future because I will be doing more especially on all of these books that have been featured in this video and future books. If you enjoyed my trailer reaction video, then please let me know in comments down below that you did, and I will try to include more of those in the future. And please click that bell right next to the subscribe button down below, so that way you can get notified whenever I post a new video. If my videos can actually brighten up your day, then it brightens up my day as well. I hope you all have an amazing day. I love you all so much. And look out for my next video, which will be coming out next Friday or sometime soon. Bye everyone!